It's the 6th of January 2016. I'm at hospital. I'm about to have my fourth session of chemotherapy. Um, it's a new drug today, docetaxel. So I'll see how that affects me. Uh, in a couple of hours, I'll be two thirds of the way through this and I feel excited. I really do because I can see that light at the end of the tunnel. Today is Sunday. Uh, I have been in bed all day. I feel totally wiped out. This is perhaps the cumulative effect of chemotherapy. I've only got up to go to the loo or to go downstairs and get a bowl of cornflakes. And I have aches and pains in my back, legs, hips. <sighs> I have got no energy at all. We're day 11 since the fourth session of chemotherapy and it's definitely been the most difficult to bounce back from and the most unpleasant in terms of the side effects, I think. Um, but anyway, I'm back to normal now. Um, what it does mean, though, is that I am thinking about the penultimate session, which should be a cause for optimism because that means it's nearly over. Actually, I'm dreading it, which is annoying. It's the Monday after the penultimate chemotherapy, so that was on Wednesday, now it's Monday. I've spent a few days sleeping, sleeping off the drugs. Um, I just want to, I'm feeling a bit spaced out, that's that's about it. I just want to show you a close-up, if you can see this, of my eyes. I barely have any eyelashes left. There are probably about three on that side and similar amount on that side, and then underneath, just very, very short stubs. Uh, last week, most of my eyelashes seemed to fall out and for the whole week my eyes were streaming. I am actually quite sanguine now about any more side effects. So the eyelashes go, I think, yep, yeah, come on, what else have you got? What else do you want to test me with? It's uh, 13 days, 13 days since um, the penultimate chemo and I'm back at work today. Here's, I'm in the studio now, it's really good to be back at work and see everybody and not think about cancer treatment or chemotherapy or side effects and just to concentrate on what's in the news. I just, I don't know if you can see this, I've just noticed this on my hand, which is kind of souvenir of chemotherapy. Those are the veins into which the chemotherapy drugs go. Anyway, that won't distract me from the program. Uh, due to be another busy program, can get quite intense and I can already see that it's the wrong day on the auto queue. <laughs> Despite getting up at half three quarters to four for the last few days, I don't feel physically tired at all. I look it, I look, I've got absolutely massive bags under my eyes. I look really, really tired and my eyes are still streaming. And my nose is streaming, but physically, I. I feel all right and as actually as my editor said better to what did she say better to look better to look knackered but not feel it and be alert and be across things in terms of the program than look great and not be alert during the program that would not be a good that would not be good so yeah I'm taking that um I've been trying to work out why being at work at the moment sorry my eyes are just streaming why being at work at, particularly at the moment, I've always loved my work, I've always loved my job, but why at the moment it's making me feel so good, and I suppose it's pretty obvious really, it, it, it means I'm not, I'm not a cancer patient, I'm not, I don't really think about cancer when I'm at work, I'm a journalist. 
Uh, one job that is now part of my routine is washing my wig. Here it is. It sounds, still sounds so incongruous saying my wig. Um, so it doesn't take very long actually. Um, if I think about it, I actually can't believe I am washing my wig because I have so little of my own hair. Anyway, it is what it is. It is just after two o'clock in the morning and I have been to the Royal Television Society Awards for the very first time in my life and it was a very lovely evening. We had a good laugh with our team and Ben, who was a reporter on our team, uh, won in the Young Talent category, which was brilliant. Um, and it's the first proper night out that I've had in ages. And I mean, you know, an, as in an out-out night. Um, and I must have had a good time because I have no idea where, where my house keys are. But obviously I have managed to get in, which is good. Um, and in four days, it's my last chemotherapy cycle. And I cannot wait for it to be done. It's Sunday, the day before my last chemotherapy. and. I feel really relaxed today, which is the contrast to the last few days where each day for about the last four days I have shed tears, which is really unusual because I haven't much throughout the last six, seven months at all. Um, and I think it's because for the whole of this process I've just been concentrating on and focusing on getting through it and taking each day as it comes as much as is possible and being pragmatic and cracking on and because it's coming to an end gosh I can feel myself getting emotional now because it's coming to an end um, I've been reflecting on what I have experienced and I suppose it's just a release of emotions and a relief, <laughs> a release and a relief. Uh, so these are actually happy tears <laughs> because it's going to be over soon. This is hopefully my last journey to the infusion suite because today is Monday the 22nd of February and it is my last chemo, I hope, forever. And here's the corridor that I've walked down every three weeks since November. And I feel like I'm actually almost skipping in. If I, could, if I wasn't carrying so much stuff like blankets and hot water bottles, I would be skipping. It's the last time I'm ever going to wear a cold cap, which is great. It's been a bit grim, but worth it, because I've probably got about half my hair left. Um, so yeah, that's good. <laughs> I feel, I think I might be slightly hysterical. I mean, happy hysterical, you know, it's, because it's coming to an end. Because it's over soon. It's... <sighs> you just can't help it, really. Did 
you just ding a ling? Oh, okay. I'm done. Are you done? Da, 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 da. Yeah. Now I'm that we've nice. come <laughs> to the end of the road. Oh, God, get this thing off. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Did everyone cry at the end? Say goodbye to your little friend. <laughs> no, not everybody. Most people do. Oh, if you wow. Lose it, you not get to keep it. <laughs> no. <worry. laughs> we'll put a plaque on the back. <laughs> <laughs> it's all a bit overwhelming, isn't it? Get rid of that. Gosh, I feel like I just want to cry. It's okay. You never thought you'd feel like this at the NGK chemo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You've done really well. You've done so, so well. Thank you. A little pair of to cross. Well done. <laughs> so, seems like only yesterday you were dying. <laughs> six months of tears just coming out in one go if that's possible I don't know if that's possible or logical or sensible but I'm just trying to find a reason why um, I think when it when when it was over when I could the drugs had stopped going into me through the IV drip and the cold cap was coming off I think I was I felt in shock I couldn't really speak which is not like me, as you'll have gathered. Um, and then I just texted my family and my close friends to say, in capital letters with three exclamation marks, I'm done. So yeah, so now I just want to see my boys after work. After work, after school, and uh, have a cuddle and have a celebratory tea. And and get on with the rest of my life. I think I have no more tears left, which is great. I feel uh, a little bit tired, but knowing this is the last time I'll feel tired, four hours after chemotherapy, everything will be the last time, which is great. And I feel a bit like in your face chemo. I really do. I've got, I've got some energy back and some feistiness back. And yeah, goodbye chemo.